So in this video, we're going to be setting up a sterile surgical pack for surgery. So first thing is that I've made sure that my operating room has been properly disinfected with a proper disinfectant per manufacturer's recommendations. So we have cleaned all of the surfaces in the OR as well as the table and the surgery lights in the anesthetic machine um, and the Mayo table, everything in here has been properly disinfected. And the floor has also been mopped in here as well with a proper disinfectant. So now that we are ready for um, that, I am going to select the proper pack. Today we're going to be performing an ovariohysterectomy on a cat. So I have selected a major small spay pack. And uh, as you can see, the tape on the pack has turned black, which indicates it has been exposed to appropriate steam. So the first thing I'm going to do is just set my pack on my mayo tray and just go ahead and remove the tape. And on my tape, I do see, um, I do have the date that it was autoclaved, which was 621, and uh, the initials of the person who uh, packed and autoclaved the pack, which is my initials. So I'm going to go ahead and take this tape off as well. And with this tape, I'm just going to stick it here on the side of the mayo table just so everybody can see that it was exposed to appropriate steam. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, open the pack, just three flaps. So first we're going to open the first pack way, open that one, that one. And now I'm just going to leave this last flap without touching it. That way, after I am gowned and ready to, uh, gloved and ready to help perform in surgery, I will be sterile and I'll be able to open this pack. And now I'm just going to go ahead and get uh, gowned up and gloved up and ready for surgery. So now that I'm gowned and gloved and sterile, we're ready to start surgery. So what I'm gonna do is I've got my pack here. I'm just going to open this flap here and I'm going to pull it towards my patient. So now, so now this part is sterile here. So now I'm just going to go ahead and open this one. And that first one's away from my patient. That one. That one. This one. So now uh, I'm going to just going to go ahead and open my pack here and just show the steam indicator strip shows that the um, pack from the inside has been exposed to appropriate steam just set that there and now I'm just going to kind of organize everything inside here as my doctor will need it so first I'm just going to go ahead and hand her the drape And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand her um, the towel clamps. And so I'm going to do that and I'm going to leave the ratchets open and I'm going to firmly just snap them in her hand. I'm putting the rings in her hand so she can adjust them with minimal adjustment. And so now that she has that, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get my scalpel blade and my assistant's going to grab that for me. I'm going to take my needle holders and just grab that. Grabbing it. Oh. Okay. 
just gonna firmly snap that in place there. Let's make sure that it's in place. And as I hand them, I want to hand them with the blade away from me and place the handle in my doctor's hand. And so she's going to cut, now she's cutting. I'm going to get sterile gauze here just to maintain hemostasis in a clear visual field and block blood as I need to. I'm going to make sure I know where my sharps are at all times as well. And then more and as I uh, get the instruments returned as well, I'm just going to kind of wipe those off. I'm going to get my assistant to hand me a suture. What do you want? The two? Oh, the two. The two what? I'm just going to go ahead and carefully grab that. She turned Yeah, turn her up to four. Just for a needle holders and just clamp about three fourths down. I just kind of organize everything and know where everything's at and make it easy to access. Thank you. 
to hand her the instruments. I want to hand them firmly in her hand so I know that she can grab them and that they are in her hand and they won't drop. I have a sterile bowl of 1% warm saline solution here, so I'm just going to go ahead and moisten some of the tissues just to keep them from drying out. I'm just going to get a little bit of my uh, sterile gauze in here, and we're just going to gently blot those just to keep them hydrated. Now since this is a spay, we won't be keeping these tissues, but if it were a surgery where we were keeping the tissues, uh, we would be doing this. I'm just showing as a demonstration. So now those are nice and moist and keep from drying out. So uh, the straight Kelly's. Straight Kelly's. There we go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to retract the tissues from my doctor, just to keep them out of her way. while she ties her ligatures. Thank you. 
like the top half of it off. I want them like it's pretty long. And I think it just sort of looks like just a little bit more right below. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so as my doctor is finishing up, I'm just going to go ahead and just continue to cut suture and maintain hemostasis for her. So she has a clear visual field at all times.